Thus far with Passport, we've created a signup form and submitted it to our server. And we responded appropriately based on whether or not our user sends us a valid email password combination. And that's a good stepping stone, but it's not quite enough for an effective application. We need to prevent access to entire sections of our application based on whether or not the user is logged in. In addition to that, we want to remove visual oddities like having the sign out link show up even if the user isn't logged in. Also, we want to hide the sign in link if the user already is logged in. We'll sit right back because these problems are exactly what we solve in this episode. Ensuring that a user is logged in is actually quite simple. Guess what kind of an entity we create for it? That's right, a middleware. This isn't a core application concern, so we needn't burden our request handler with this check. Create a file at app middlewares ensure authenticated JS, and it should have the following code. We'll use our standard middleware function definition. Then we make a simple check based on the status of our request object, and we'll explain what that is in just a second. Drop in our two different conditionals. And then of course we want to expose this to the outside world. So remember that regular middlewares are simply functions that have an arity of three. That is to say, they take three parameters, the request, the response, and the function that passes execution along to the next stage in the response queue. Specific to our function, we're just using passports is authenticated function that it attaches to request objects. It's a nicely named function that just tells us if we have a user currently logged in. We could just directly inspect our session, but is authenticated clearly communicates what we mean versus some check for a value not being null. If we're not logged in, we want to let users know why they just got dumped back at the login screen and then send them back to the sign in page. Next, we need to actually use this middleware. And to do that, we're going to do a little reorganizing of our routes. With that done, at the beginning of this block of routes, we can put app.all, give it a route string, and then of course we include our new middleware that we just wrote. Note the asterisk. We don't want to match just slash app. We want everything under that path prefix to require authentication. We don't put signing out under here too because it doesn't really make a difference for signing out. Yes, it's technically a bit odd, but nothing blows up. Lastly, I find it useful to get a clear distinction between the areas that require authentication and those that don't. So all of our routes that will end up being part of the app, we're going to put under the prefix slash app, like so. Our links to our adventure pages don't yet know about the slash app prefix that they need, so we had to tell them about it. I've already made the corrections in the two views there as well as at the bottom of our homepage. This isn't super interesting and that's why we gloss over it. Let's go ahead and start up our server now. We can check our cookies to make sure that we're not logged in, and we're not. Let's go hit our adventures page now, and just like we'd expect, we're taken to the login page. We can then log in, and we're taken back to the home page. And now when we try to access the pages behind the login wall, we can. A better user experience would probably be for us to get taken back to the page we were trying to access, but that's a topic for a later episode. If you have any ideas on how you'd implement that, start a discussion in the comments. As a hint, think of how you could use the current session to pull this off. So wonderful, we've now blocked certain pages based on whether or not the user is logged in. The last thing we're going to do is toggle the sign up, sign out, and sign in links. We don't need to sign up or in if we're already logged in, and we can't meaningfully sign out if we're not logged in. It's time for another middleware. We're going to make another middleware at app middlewares attach authentication status.js. The code here is similar to something we saw when we set the flash in episode 22, and it also uses the rec.isAuthenticated function that we talked about earlier in this episode. Essentially, we're just taking that function, its value for the current request, and attaching it to res.locals, which means that it's automatically available to us in our views. I notice that we are taking the result of calling is authenticated. We're not providing the function to our view. You might ask why we need this when we've hidden portions of the app behind a sign-in wall. We already know if they're authenticated or not. Well, we need this for routes like our home page. On that page, we don't know if the user is authenticated or not. Also, just having this available to our views is going to make our navbar a lot simpler, as we'll see in just a bit. 
Let's go ahead and add this middleware to our app now. Head over to config application.js and drop this line in just after the similar line for setting the flash. Now we're going to put this middleware into action. Open app views layouts navbar.jade and we're going to make a few changes. First, we only display sign in and sign up if the user is not signed in, like so. And for this, we're just using the is authenticated property that we set in that middleware. Next, we only show the sign out link if the user is authenticated. So we just make our else block and then move those two lines under it. We haven't restarted our server since our last non-template change, so let's go ahead and do that. Now let's delete our session cookie, effectively logging out. We then reload the home page. And note that the sign out link has gone away. Next, let's sign in. After being redirected to the home page, we can see that the sign in and sign up links are gone, but that the sign out link has appeared. Clicking that link logs us out, and we're presented with the other two again. Works exactly as expected. In this episode, we lock down portions of our app based on whether or not our user is currently logged in. Now we did this through middleware because, well, we do everything through middleware. Passport provides us with a helper function to tell if a user is logged in, and that's how we filtered our users. Our route handlers do not have to worry about that concern, and nor should they. This is not the end of properly locking down the app though. Our users are going to start acting on data, and we need to make sure that not only are they logged in, but that they are actually the user who owns the data in question. That's the other half of authorization, and that's also what we look at next time. Until then, happy coding.